Okay, hello and welcome everybody to today's webinar. I think we'll, we'll kick it off. Um, first of all, my name is Dan. I take care of uh, B2B marketing here at BankQ Australia. We're based here in Sydney. Uh, I'm joined today by some very special guests, uh, including Tony Foley, the Managing Director of Sega Group Australia, and all the way from the United States, Tom Delugos, uh, who is the OEM Director of Sales at x Pantone for Asia Pacific. Uh, so on behalf of the BenQ team, I just want to say it's a pleasure to have you guys with us today and everybody uh, joining us as well. Uh, in today's webinar, we'll be delving into the world of Pantone colour in retail and design industries and why colour is, is so important. We'll also introduce the newest BenQ Smart Digital Signage Series, carrying the world's first Pantone validation for a product of its kind. So just a little bit about uh, housekeeping and the agenda. So throughout the webinar, uh, your microphones and cameras will be turned off. Um, but please use the Q&A button towards the bottom centre of your screen and we'll be able to get back to your questions at the end. Uh, after the, the presentations, we'll have a quick 10 minute Q&A uh, where the BenQ and the Sega group teams are on standby to answer any of your questions. Uh, Tom will also be available to answer your questions as well. Uh, after, after the webinar, don't forget to stay in your browser for a post webinar survey where one, one lucky participant today will be chosen to receive a BenQ WIT screen bar e-reading lamp. So the BenQ screen bar is a perfect companion for your work or home office, um, lighting up your workspace uh, with different temperatures of light depending on the ambient environment. So a little bit more about the agenda today. So first of all, we'll have a word from Tony Foley and the Seeger Group. Uh, then we'll have Tom speaking about the importance of colour in design and retail from the Pantone x right perspective. And then we'll go into a little a quick presentation about the world's first Pantone validated signage, which is the BenQ SL series. We'll have our Q&A. And as I mentioned before, don't forget to uh, fill out our post webinar survey. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you Tony Foley. Uh, Managing Director of Sega Group Australia. Thank you. Uh, Sega Group Australia has been in operation around 33 years. We offer an extensive range of products, specialising in die making and die cutting products for packaging. And of course, Pantone for all industries because colour plays a pivotal role in just about everything we do. Our focus has been to support unique overseas manufacturers for the Australian market during this time. We support the customer base with knowledge and reliable product availability across a wide range of products. Pantone and Sega have been working together approximately 30 years. It started with the graphic, graphics range of products. The past five years has seen a rapid expansion of the relationship. Today, we manage the official Pantone Australia web store and supply and support the customer base for the full range of Pantone products from graphics to fashion home and interiors. We have a young dedicated team ready to support your requirements at all times and please don't he hesitate to give us a call to talk about particularly this BenQ product today. Uh, I get excited about new technology and hence I was pretty excited to work with the BenQ guys in this uh, new product development. Um, it's a world first for digital signage to achieve a Pantone validated certification. We first came across, across this new exciting product from BenQ earlier this year. We believe it's a great fit for our product portfolio and to support the Pantone range. I hope you enjoyed this morning's presentation. Please note, we have a demo unit available in West Heidelberg when we get out of lockdown. You're welcome to come and join us uh, and we can take you through all the re required um, information. Uh, obviously, you need to make arrangements accordingly under the current arrangements. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity and uh, I hope you enjoy the presentation. Thanks again. Thanks so much, Tony. Um, it's a real pleasure to have uh, the Seeker Group on board, uh, especially with this great new product. 
for the next part of our webinar, um, I have a very special guest who joins us from across the other side of the globe. Um, we've got Tom Delugos, uh, Director of Sales at x Pantone Asia Pacific. So Tom's been working with x for over 11 years now, and he's seen the expansion and development of colour standards across many industries around the world. Um, good afternoon to you, Tom. Hey, good afternoon. And the, good the reason why I say good afternoon, Tom, is because yeah, it's no, about 7 p.m. your time yesterday. Yeah, it's, it is 7 p.m. and good morning to everybody. And I'm glad to share this time with you as well as Tony and the BenQ team and everybody that's actually joining as uh, participants in this webinar. So um, extremely happy to, to you know, have this opportunity to kind of talk about uh, a development that has been in place at x for some time. And we're just pleased that uh, we have such a strong relationship and a long relationship with BenQ. Um, and uh, Tony, um, thank you very much for your dedication and your continued dedication to Pantone um, and the x right family of, uh, of, of products and solutions. We very much appreciate your support as well. Um, and why don't we get started and actually talk a little bit about what we are here for in relationship to color in the retail, as well as how Pantone has helped influence and helped customers across the globe in a lot of different spaces. Now, granted, the history of Pantone started in the graphic arts and printing industry, but has now expanded into so many different markets and segments. It's, it is actually amazing. It's also amazing to see some of the statistics that we've actually have put up in relationship to our reach, as well as the recognition of Pantone. And um, I think you'll be, you'll be pleased and interested to see some of, the, uh, some of the information as I kind of unveil this in the presentation. So Pantone is actually part of x -Rite. x -Rite is the parent company. Pantone was acquired back in 2008. Um, however, Pantone has been around since 1962. Pantone has helped customers confidently create with color across the board in a lot of different segments and a lot of different areas primarily in design so you can help customers and people communicate color throughout an entire workflow. Um, Pantone and x right now a combined company actually offers some of the best and comprehensive solutions for the entire color space. And that has to do with communicating something upfront to a client, um, trying to identify a brand and a color associated with the brand. Um, and, you know, we don't really think about it, but it's also really interesting to note that many companies around the world rely on Pantone in order to establish their brand and color. Like say, for instance, a fast food restaurant company or a drink company, or for those that are shopping for a loved one, products and consumer products as in jewelry. Um, and most notably, for those customers um, as well as uh, consumers that are, uh, are familiar with other drink companies and manufacturers, here are some of the brands that x right as well as Pantone work with around the globe. And they work with Pantone in order to establish a brand that's associated with a color. Um, We'll get into a little bit deeper um, some of the different functions and features as well as the solutions that we provide. Um, but as you can see here straight on the screen, you know, we provide color communication and inspiration for the collaboration of products, designs, as well as to try to establish an, an emotion about something as well. Um, we are also involved in um, not only the I guess the soft side of color and or the creative side or the emotive side of color, but we're also involved in, in as well as with the um, accuracy as well as the quality of assurance of color. So that if you specify a color, such as a brand, say, for instance, um, a soft drink company specifies a color, they want to make sure that that color is consistent no matter where they place that product or that branded color. So it could be 
a video, it could be on a printed can, it could be on a wrapper, it could be on a plastic. And we then have the, we, we also then have the ability to help those customers um, in order to ensure that that color is followed as well as accurate throughout the entire production process. Um, <clears throat> if you think of both companies together, Pantone is the, the creative part of color. It's the artistic side of color. And X-Rite is more the scientific. We measure color. So that's how the two companies coexist as well as deliver really strong solutions for our customers, global brands around the world. We also do a tremendous amount of consulting. It's interesting to see the number of companies that come to Pantone in order to launch a product to make sure that they have colors that are incorporated in their products that will speak to a certain market segment or demographic. Um, we're talking about consumer products companies, plastics companies, uh, toy companies, uh, you name it, we've been involved with a lot and we will continue to do so. Um, our brand reaches, currently we have 10 million designers and producers across the world. We have a large digital presence of 2.5 million Instagram followers. And we essentially get on a monthly basis, uh, 2.7 million monthly web visits. And if you are familiar with Pantone, we also have a, a major event towards the end of the year. Um, and we have this event called Color of the Year, where we end up getting 42 billion impressions or mentions of the color of the year. So the brand and the reach of Pantone is as strong and supportive of our customers that we work with. So here's, um, here's a few things just to kind of show you the breadth and the solutions that uh, Pantone and x have and deliver. Um, we have products and tools, which is involved in trending and forecasting. We actually still make the physical standards, which is a large portion of our business. We also have digital standards. So any application that actually allows you to select and use color can support a Pantone library and could support a Pantone library, be it a graphics library or fashion home or interior library or plastics. Um, we are involved in designing and, and actually in, in implementing our digital standards in various design softwares. Um, we also are involved in measurement and measuring color as well as actually producing lighting tools for viewing color, uh, for visual assessment, and as well, total appearance capture, which is a new product development from x in the area of being able to digitize materials um, electronically. So we can create the digital standard or the digital um, sample uh, very accurately and then also tie in Pantone as it relates to color. Um, again, we have consulting services related to trending and forecasting. Uh, that we do a lot of work in palette development and consulting with customers and companies, especially in the fashion area. Um, we do brand color consulting and custom colors. And this is um, part of the Pantone Color Institute. They will actually go and sit down with a client and go through things such as color mapping, as well as looking at color workflow optimization, and then implement a quality, a quality assurance program, not only on the creative side, but then we then help them to deploy that into to their manufacturers and producers of the actual products. Um, part of an area that I have been involved in quite heavily over the last four or five years is on the licensing side and licensing the Pantone brand associated with products. And you can see here a whole host of different products and solutions. And you also then also have the two different monikers or logos, Pantone Validation, which, which solely focuses on display technology. Uh, we also have a derivative of that that is also being applied to 3D printers and we'll be also applying the Pantone validation methodology to other products as well as solutions in the marketplace. So um, our reach is large and it's amazing to, 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 to kind of sit back and actually have people say, 
oh, I know Pantone. I use Pantone in my work. And if people that you just come across that you would never think that they would ever have known your company because x is probably four or five times bigger than Pantone, but Pantone is hundreds or thousands of times bigger with regards to brand recognition than x -Rite. So there are a lot more customers, a lot more users out there that are relying and working with Pantone. And you can also see that here. This is just kind of some feedback from um, our color of the year launch that kind of, kind of defines and talks about some of the placements as well as the number of media impressions with regards to the color of the year. So it's pretty expansive. So we feel, we believe that utilizing and, and using that brand of Pantone, um, we can actually move into other market segments. And, and what we've done is we've actually looked at all the different industries where color matters. And this is also important too, for identifying, you know, potential customers or clients, um, as well as working with the team of, of BenQ, um, they asked, well, who would be a good potential client for us with, with respects to this new digital signage display? And we showed them this slide and presentation of all the different segments and all the different markets that actually understand and know and use Pantone at some point, whether it's in the creative end or even at the validation stage of the final production run of a thing. So that kind of gives you a good breath of all the different markets that we're involved in that we touch. So let's get into why we're here. Talk about Pantone validation and the Pantone validation program. Pantone validation is a new mark of excellence in color output. Now going back some 10, 15, maybe 20 years ago, Pantone used to, to do a similar thing with regards to printers. And anybody that's printed on any of the local inkjet printers or color copiers, um, there may be a Pantone logo on there or there's Pantone technology embedded. You would just may not see it or you may not notice it, but we've been doing the validation work as well as the certification work for printers for many, many, many years. And we were sitting around one evening after we launched a thing called Pantone Live and with my area of focus being in display, I said, well, why don't we actually come up with a validation program for displays? Because we're working with so many designers on Pantone Live and so many different brands. Don't you think that they would want to know whether a certain product has the ability to reproduce the Pantone libraries faithfully? And that started back in 2009. And 2017, we launched our first brand as our relationship with a company that um, that actually produces laptops. And they had a new line for professionals and they decided to go and actually have Pantone validation applied. Our relationship with BenQ had been working um, since 2009 when we started this project. And we finally got a program put together that we could apply. And BenQ is one of the first displays, as well as one of the first digital signage um, companies and providers in the marketplace to actually onboard Pantone Live. So in essence, Pantone's technicians um, have used color science and rigorous process to adjust and qualify hundreds of professional products and production grade color output devices from leading devices and systems manufacturers over the past de de decades. So all your top brands of all the printers that you have have used Pantone, have relied on Pantone in order to you know, ensure that their color output is consistent and accurate and reproducible. Um, so the Pantone validation is a licensing program that extends the Pantone know-how and quality color systems where manufacturers apply and or integrate color fidelity solutions in their technology. So with that long winded expl explanation is that BenQ does a tremendous amount of work and puts a tremendous amount of effort into ensuring the quality of their displays, whether it's their desktop displays or their digital signage displays. They are in the factory establishing standards, they're measuring each display, they're calibrating each display, but they needed a way to validate this and to show you know, their users or the creatives and designers the fact that it is of high quality and it does meet a certain stringent standard. 
And that's where we applied the Pantone validation to the actual product and went through a rigorous uh, testing and evaluation. Um, and we then kind of report, quantify the ability of that display to meet the Pantone system um, whether it's the Pantone matching system for ink, which is probably the most exhaustive and the most stringent and the hardest color library or color gamut to actually hit. Because we know that there's colors in that color fan deck right here that you cannot achieve. And it really pushes the extent. Plus the other thing too, which is important, is that it's real world colors. Colors that customers are using, making decisions about their logo, about their company around, making decisions on what is gonna be incorporated as a product. So they're very used to, and they're very familiar with Pantone. Um, what we deliver, so to kind of show you some of the facts, obviously there's a letter of acceptance. We go through a full, uh, we go through a full test uh, of the actual um, display itself and plot all the measurements out. We go through uh, a fairly deep analysis. Uh, we actually have one color scientist, believe it, there's a color scientist and they are out there. Um, we have a color scientist, Ed Hattenberg, who actually goes through and does a complete analysis. And we measure over 2000 patches and color patches on the monitor. We physically have to sit there and measure them all. Um, so the test and validation is, really kind of the essence of the program. And then it's the messaging that will allow us, you know, allow the users to benefit and feel confident that once they paint their logo on a sign that it's gonna be accurate, or if it's a new product launch or if it's a new brand, then they know it's gonna be consistent. So we have here um, one of the certificates that we provide and we are happy to say that this was the first, it's a world's first for this particular display, as well as these models for the testing and validation work that is done. So the integration of color palettes in BenQ's Xline software is also something that you'll also be seeing. So they have a certain software application that will be onboarding the Pantone digital libraries where customers can now and will be able to select and choose Pantone libraries and then have the confidence that if they have and they're pushing that to a BenQ digital signage display, it's going to be color accurate. It's going to be re reproducible and they will have um, they will have color uniformity from creation to output and then to consumption at the at the consumer level. Um, we are very happy and very pleased to partner with BenQ on this program. And there's other things in the queue that we're working on as well with other BenQ solutions. Um, we're pleased to help and support BenQ in their efforts. And we appreciate any questions that you have related to the Pantone, Pantone validation program. And I look forward to answering your questions as well as keeping engaged with you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Tom. Look, some really great, great insights into the industry, and and as you said, it's a it's a great partnership, and we're we're really happy to have the uh, the official Pantone validation on board. Um, I'm just going to share my screen again now, and we'll start the presentation of the SL series digital signage. So. As we've heard several times already, the SL02K series digital signage is the first uh, product of its kind to, to gain the Pantone validation. And obviously, we're trying to create some consistency in color. Um, when we talk about consistency in color, it, it's part of, the, of BenQ's DNA and our com company philosophy. It's built on color accuracy. So whether it's uh, AccuColor uh, in our BenQ LCD monitors, whether it's cinematic color for our home theater and entertainment projectors, or now being the first Pantone verified digital signage, uh, it's part of the, the BenQ DNA and what we, we really try to bring to the end user is, is that consistency of color. So 
This is the SL series family. So we're going from the 43 inch size all the way up to the 98 inch. So we've got six, six sizes along the way there. So let's talk about a few of the features. So the BenQ Smart Signage solution is sort of built around three, three tiers. So we've got color, content, and product design. So for our color, we've got our AccuColor, uh, world's first Pantone validation. Um, we've got our MacBook mode and our Pantone color mode. Moving on to, down to our content, uh, Tom mentioned that we've got the X, uh, Xign software, which we use for presentations on the digital signage. So that's improving the performance and presentation of 4K applications. We've got a, a full range of sizes, as you saw in the previous slide. And we've got a built-in system on a chip, so running Android operating system. So BenQ has built in four modes to help present beautiful color. So let's just quickly go through each one. So first of all, we've got cinema mode. So more saturation, higher contrast. So this particular mode is, is perfect for retail or designers wanting to display full motion video and have it look vibrant and lively in the process. Moving on to photo mode. So more vibrant, but still realistic. So this is perfect for the hospitality industry, such as restaurants and hotels, as well as, as retailers wanting to display still shots of slide or slideshows uh, with, with great color performance, details and saturation. So we're looking at vibrancy, saturation, delicate details and performance at different viewing angles as well. So next up, we've got MBook mode. So extended MacBook color experience. And as we know, many professionals in the design industry are using Apple products as their standard and MacBooks are, are used quite extensively. So with this mode in particular, we're trying to minimize the visual differences between the two displays. So when we're, just, when we're connecting a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, uh, a, a particular product like that, connecting to whether it be uh, the Pantone validated signage or an LCD monitor, we're making sure that the experience is very similar across the two displays. So again, matching the color preferences of the MacBook and the internal processes there, representing true color, uh, delicate details and better color performance in side view again. So the last and, and most importantly, uh, Pantone mode. So the world's first validated digital signage when it comes to Pantone. So we've been able to add an important step in the Pantone validation process. So you can see there on the right hand side goes from the Pantone matching system and then onto the Pantone validated monitor or, or signage in this particular case. And then it goes to your Pantone licensed output. So printers or, or, um, or material designing. So it's a perfect fit. Uh, into that into that color process, um, solidifying the process, the design process and workflow. So, to find out more information about the the official validation um, and the documentation, you can visit the Pantone website and click on the licensees tab, and you can scroll down to digital signage where you'll find that BenQ SL series is the only currently uh, validated digital signage product on that website. So how important is Pantone validation? We know it's very important. Pantone is a universal language, standardized over 10,000 colors and being used by more than 1 million designers worldwide. And we saw that through Tom's presentation. So there was a barrier that we identified. So it all starts with the, the calibration process, factory tuning, then it goes to the PC and it goes to your office or your, or your team environment. But there needs to be another step in between.
So talking a little bit more about the, the hardware side. So the SL series signage is a 4K UHD panel, uh, capable of 500 nits of brightness. It is a 24 seven panel, which can be used continuously in operation, uh, rated for 50,000 hours of operation plus, uh, and capable of portrait mode and auto rotation. So if, you, if anyone knows anything about uh, panels and, and larger, especially in the larger sizes, anything above 55 inch is notoriously difficult to implement a portrait mode and even harder still to implement that auto rotation. So that's something a little bit special. So now we're talking about performance of the system on a chip. So compared to the competition, it's an upgrade of performance, upgrade of RAM, and also added support for audio and video codecs, which can be utilized through the Exxon software. So against, again, against the competition, um, using some of the older Cortex chips, uh, the, the particular chip that used within the SL series signage is the Cortex A73. And we were able to, to achieve up to double the sustained performance and 1.3 times the peak performance of other devices on the market. So going back to the resolution. So the SL series signage has unparalleled 4K performance. Um, you, can, you can run high resolution images and photos uh, seamlessly. It's important to note here that a lot of other 24 seven continuous use panels are actually capped at 1080p resolution to help, with, to help extend the overall lifespan. But at BenQ we're offering the 50,000 hours plus of life on this particular SL series product, which actually equates to five to seven years of continuous use. So beautiful 4K picture is nothing without a slim bezel design. So we've got nar narrow and even bezels so that the content can shine through uh, as the focal point. So in, in 2020, the, the launcher was upgraded on this product. Um, so the, it was aesthetically designed. Time, time zone internet status is, is there featured on the left-hand side. Uh, firmware upgrade information, new app placement, and user guide links, just to name a few. So Tom mentioned before about the Exxon software um, being specifically designed for this product to, to represent the Pantone color. So Exxon software was given a, a design award back in 2008 for its ability to be able to create aesthetic and beautiful looking templates, but also probably even more important, simple, quick, and easy to deploy. So when you're using this particular product, um, there's no need to go through a lengthy design process. If you want to, to display a, a menu or a, uh, a particular product that you want to, want to push out to your customers, there's templates that are uh, more than enough that you'll be able to find what you're looking for. So over 150 different templates to start you off. So for the IT managers, we've got the device management solution. So DMS or device management solution is actually synonymous across a lot of the BenQ products, including projector and interactive flat panel. So DMS is a software tool that enables remote and centralized management of multiple BenQ devices by IT admins or technicians via a local network. So DMS's local management capabilities include the ability to re remotely monitor, control, and configure devices individually or as a group. So what we're talking about there is the controlling the, the displays remotely, updating software and apps remotely. No apps need to be installed on the, 
on the connecting devices and access anywhere. So supporting uh, Chrome and Firefox browsers there. This is a little bit more information about the, the whole uh, LAN versus WLAN uh, set up there. So in local mode, you've got your information monitoring, control, schedule, and settings. And then using an Android, you've got your app management and OTA management as well. So over the air uh, updates as well. Another partnership that, we've, that BenQ has forged is a partnership with TeamViewer. So TeamViewer, it's easy to log in onto the digital signage from your PC, notebook, or mobile and fix IT issues or uh, control the panel remotely is very, very easy uh, with full remote control access from TeamViewer software. And obviously, last but not least is, is Android security. So security of the panel. We've, got, we've also forged a, a partnership with McAfee software. So through that, the, the panel is, is secured uh, through device security, data security, and also memory and storage cleanup. So a very similar experience what you would have on your Android phone. So in quick summary, uh, key features for the SL02K series. Sorry, there's the, the panels covering up some of the words there, but we've got high performance 4K resolution. We've got a high performance system on a chip or, or an Android uh, operating system um, and processor. Pantone validation, portrait mode and auto rotation, MacBook and Pantone modes, and the 24 seven operation with 50,000 plus hours of lifespan. So just a quick overview of benefits and value proposition uh, when we're talking to, to customers and end users. So a, a real mixture of ease of use, the viewing experience, including the accuracy of colors and different color modes, uh, depending on how you want to show your content, and then ease of use. So ease of management and ease of use. Okay, so now we come to the Q&A. So if, if ever anyone would like to throw in a question uh, into the uh, Q&A box, um, towards the, the bottom of your, your screen there, where I'm happy to collate those questions and, and ask the, the relevant people. So again, we've got, got Tom, we've got Tony, and we've got the BenQ team here ready to uh, answer your questions. So I might start my video again. All right. All right, that's okay. We'll leave it on that screen. So while we wait for a few questions, um, I might just throw a couple of questions at you, uh, Tony and Tom, if that's okay. Um, so Tom, um, you mentioned in your presentation there were there were a lot of industries that uh, Pantone covers now. Um, yep. What would you say would be the fastest growing industry for Pantone color at the moment? Fastest growing industry is probably applications um, utilizing the digital standards that we have been have been creating. And in addition to that, I, um, you know, every time we actually launch um, or release new colors, that seems to juice a lot of different industries. You know, two years ago, was it two years ago, two years ago, we launched a whole set of new colors. No, actually, last year we actually launched a whole set of new colors for. The color guides and that seemed to you know it creates a lot of churn as well as it creates a lot of questions um, we did a lot of work in order to integrate the new colors into the books so it wasn't confusing there was a lot of training done to explain you know why we did it where we did it and how to use it um, right now i think there are some things that are actually going on right now that I think will help in the um, interior, the A and D space, architecture and design, and partnering with some companies in that area and that space where they'll be using and leveraging Pantone. That helps us as well, kind of promote as well as um, 
proliferate or deploy the fashion home and uh, interior. Um, um, Pantone libraries and Pantone, you know, classification. We've seen, a, I mean, we've seen a lot of growth in a lot of areas. I mean, Pantone is doing extremely well, especially in this kind of remote world uh, where, you know, people are trying to make product decisions and deciding on color and working remotely as we all are right here, right now. I mean, we could be a part of a product team right now. We have to make a decision on launching a product and we have got to actually choose and select the color. Well, what are we going to use to do that? Somebody says red. Well, I say red. Tom, uh, Tony says, well, it's kind of a bluish red. No, it's kind of a greenish red. Dan, you say, no, it's an orange red. Oh my gosh, we've got four different reds already. So we're starting to see, um, you know, the, the use of Pantone as a communication tool to help speed up things and get products to market much faster. Um, the industries that are really kind of coming on are fashion, home, and, and interior. The traditional print business, um, where we've had the Pantone Fandex, are still being purchased, still being used. Um, it's kind of interesting that a lot of people use those printed band, uh, fan, those books for other industries, non-printing related, you know, they use that as a guide and say, I want this Pantone color. Well, you know, this is a printed material, so we've got to go through and then we actually kind of open up and we actually do some consulting and say, well, we do have something for textiles. We actually do have something for paint. We do have something for plastic. So why don't we see if there is a color like that in, in, in those. Um, education, um, uh, a lot of the consulting work that we've done is, is also expanding our footprint. So we've been pretty pleased with uh, the, the reception as well as the growth. Color of the year, I mean, just that announcement of the color of the year just really puts and cements Pantone at the top of mind for a lot of different industries and a lot of different companies and customers. Yeah, it just seems like it's just getting bigger and bigger, Tom. So, um, and it's, it's sort of that question rolls on to another question I had, was, which was, I mean, I know, I know the answer to this question, but how much of today's marketing is visual based, which is, I know it's a large percentage, but how, does that, how has that percentage changed over your time at, Pan, at, at uh, X-Ride, for instance? I mean, you've been working over there for over 11 years. Has it, what's the disparity been uh, up until now? Oh, let's see. I mean, you know, we've actually tried to take some initiatives um, with Pantone Live, which is a program that helps companies establish color standards digitally. Um, some of the work had to be done in order to establish what the Pantone standards are. Um, just like any company that has a brand or a logo, they may actually have 13 or 14 different color standards. They have to go through some rationalization. And Pantone had to, when we launched this, and to move into, uh, when we actually moved into Pantone Live, we had to get over the notion of analog to digital. And that was really kind of where it was the biggest forcing function for everybody at Pantone, even at X-Rite, was to actually get this movement from thinking everything has to be a printed piece or analog piece, and then we need to convert that now into digital. And the way we did that was a lot of work and effort in quantifying and qualifying the original Pantone, stuff, Pantone colors, and then doing a lot of quantification work and validating that those Pantone colors, um, you know, on a different host of different materials um, could be faithfully reproduced. And then actually using and working with test cases and test customers like Heinz Beans in the UK was our first customer related to this. And we took, um, I think, over 3,000 color standards that they used to use globally and reduced it down to two for their colors and each color that they actually use in their branding. Um, some of the other initiatives that we're taking is that we've also introduced a thing called Pantone API. Um, and I see here some of the questions that are popping up. And the beautiful thing about the BenQ signage uh, X-Sign software is that the BenQ X-Sign software, because it uses the Pantone API, will always have access to the latest, greatest Pantone library and automatically be updated. Um, so um, that whole that whole question on, okay, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? 
Um, you know, if Pantone launches new colors, um, well, Exxon software will automatically be updated to the most current standards of the Pantone libraries. And then there was another question up here that says, if Pantone releases new colors, will BenQ signage automatically integrate the colors or would that have to be manually done? Um, what we would end up doing is actually we would do a revalidation um, once we did the launch and release new Pantone colors and we'd go through another test. Uh, the fortunate and the good thing is, is that with our partnership at BenQ, they've actually uh, have placed um, their SL series um, digital signage, which we will be proudly using, utilizing for product demos as well as customer visits. So we will be kind of like the um, East Coast Demo Center for BenQ because our, our offices are located in New Jersey. So we can actually test that anytime we want and actually go through the validation work again and then provide them with validation that the new colors are reproducible and that meet the certain standards established. That's perfect, Tom, because we, we need to make sure that we, we give our customers peace of mind that it is a, a continuous thing. It's not just uh, validating and, and testing at once. It, it's an ongoing process and, and we do have your support over there at your base at X-Ride and Pantone to, for that reason. So that, that's a great, uh, great peace of mind there. Um, the, the other question was on Pantone Connect um, uh, for, for the reference color. Um, is, is, is Pantone Connect something that, that you could see the customers using in conjunction with this product? Oh, sure, yeah, absolutely, yes, yes. Good. Perfect. Um, I know we're running a little bit, a um, little bit past time, but I just wanted to um, throw a, a question at Tony, um, if you can, um, if you're still there. Um, I, I just want to see from a Sega Group perspective, um, where do you see the, the best opportunity for your customers and end users for this particular product, the SL series signage? Yes, based on our current experience, I think uh, the fashion home interior area. We can't quite hear you, um, Tony, just speak up a little bit. Is that better? Sorry. That's better. Yep, we got you. Okay. Um, we've got some significant customers in the fashion, home and interiors area, and uh, we definitely see a, a strong uh, opportunity there with those guys to be able to present uh, colour to their customers, so the design teams to be able to then present to their customers accordingly. And uh, I, we, we're quite excited about the opportunity to be able to present it and uh, give, them a, give them an opportunity to see how well they can do it uh, using these uh, screens. So that's probably the area. And we, I mean, we definitely have the, the, a significant base of customers to be able to present it to um, and look forward to doing so. Perfect. Do, is, is there anything that comes to your mind which is a, a really great complement to this this product that the other the other Pantone um, group of products that you have on offer? Uh, look, I, I think it complements perfectly. It's an extension of uh, you know in the in the signage side of things. So we've got uh, you know a capture, for example, which which is great in. Uh, people being able to assess a range of different substrates and uh, get colour accordingly from, uh, or an accurate reading on colour. Uh, this then enables then people to present uh, what they're wanting to do in the best, foot, you know, put their best foot forward once they've come up with a, a design or a, a concept. And this then definitely gives them the opportunity to present it in the best way possible. For sure, for sure. Um, uh, if there's no other questions, I haven't seen any more questions come up in the in the Q and A. Um, we've we've gone a little bit over time, so we might um, we might wrap up the webinar there. So um, I just want to say thanks so much for everyone who joined the webinar today. Um, I'll be following up with everyone who registered with some further marketing materials, contact information, and uh, a copy of this uh, of my presentation um, and and Tom's presentation if he's happy to share. Um, so to get hold of us here at BenQ, you can email our team on bqausales at benq.com or you can go to our website um, and go to the contact us section of benq.com.au. Um, Tony, how is the best way to get in contact with Sega Group? 
the best uh, in terms of email is uh, sales at seagagroup.com.au and uh, we've got a team of four that can can support all queries and obviously the phone number is uh, is available on our websites we have there's the pantone.net.au uh, site and also Seager group uh, .com.au site, which will have all contact details and the, the BenQ uh, product is, uh, is available to have a look at on that site as well. Thank you, Tony. Um, so again, thank you so much to, to Tony and the Seager group um, team over there. Uh, thanks so much to Tom uh, for, for staying up late and, and joining us um, when he should be having his supper. Um, so thanks so much to everyone. and. Um, don't forget to hang on the line for a post-webinar survey and we'll see you on the next webinar. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Thank, great. You. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining. Have a great Thank morning you. and have a great day. Cheers. Thank you. All the best. Thank you very much. Bye. You're very welcome. Thank you. Bye.